Hi, Jeanette. Hi. How you doing? I am so honored and happy to be here. We are happy to have you here. Now, Jeanette is an example that when you feel like you're failing, you can mm -hmm. always bounce back. You can always recover. She's done that, and through that process, she has helped so many women find their voices and has inspired emotion in the process. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for coming tonight to celebrate these nine amazing women for being exactly who they already are. Jeanette Jerzyk always knew she belonged on the stage. As the national director of That's What She Said Project, she's an expert at getting women ready for the spotlight. Do you breathe in? Hold. It takes weeks of writing and rehearsing to get to the big day. I believe it's my job to hold up a mirror and show women how beautiful they really are and all the amazing things that they do. What did you have for breakfast today? I had oatmeal and strawberries. Jeanette had to look at her own reflection to get where she's at Chocolate. today. Chocolate. I'll take it. All honesty. I'll take it. Um, I came here on a hunch. Rewind to her college days. The New Jersey girl came to central Illinois without ever having stepped foot in the state to come to U of I's theater program. Post-graduation, she packed her bags again for New York and later L.A. to pursue acting. You know, I was young, right out of college, um, went on a couple of auditions, but didn't didn't get that big break that you dream about. After years away, Jeanette came back to Central Illinois to marry the love of her life and start a family. But saying goodbye to the big goal wasn't easy. I thought that I had failed in my in my dream, and there was some embarrassment and some shame that came along with that, and so I felt a little lost. So she delved into another passion of serving others, getting involved in the Junior League of Champaign-Urbana and building a big network in the nonprofit world. That's how she found her way back to the stage with That's What She Said. This project, this uh, event, this opportunity was really a blending of all the things I'm passionate about. It's a one-day event where a group of carefully selected women share personal tales of adversity, success, and more. The story that I'm sharing is something that I hadn't visited in a good 12 years. So to go back through that process, you really self-reflect. And um, you think about the scary parts of it, the happy parts of it, the joy, and most important, like the lesson learned. When it came to childbirth, I did more than enough research to know. Jeanette's coaching makes a tough process a bit easier. She makes you feel very secure about what you're doing as you move through your story. Well, you've always liked being in charge. As did you. She finds more in our stories than we actually knew were there. Completely unexpected. It's about building community through the power of storytelling. I thought we had a few more good years left. They get to witness a woman speaking up and speaking out, and then you hear them say things like, I thought I was the only one. I thought I was alone, but I've been through that too. And giving women the confidence and power to talk in front of hundreds of people. Society and media, you know, have really sent a message to women that don't talk about yourself, don't brag. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not becoming of you to talk about yourself. And so we've learned to be small and we've learned, you know, Talk about everybody else. Give everybody else the credit. And to Jeanette's credit, the show has now spread to several other cities in Illinois and other states and has led to the creation of a spin-off program called That's What Teens Say. And the goal is to keep spreading across the country. We're not just creating an organization. We're not just creating a show. We're building a movement. All right, Jeanette, not only do you help all those women get their stories out on the stage, you also get all those ticket sales and they go to charities across the area. But I also want to talk about your other organization. You are the founder of The Family Room. That is correct. Um, through my work with the Junior League of Champaign-Urbana, uh, my friends and I, we're learning about our community. We're learning where the, the gaps are in the services. And we discovered that there was absolutely a need to provide resources and support for children going through the foster care system. So we reached out to the, the large agencies that serve foster families, did our homework, and we founded the family room to answer that need. And you make sure that they always have whatever they need in that room there. 
That's right. We've we've developed quite a large inventory. We've built wonderful community partnerships. Um, our goal is really to make sure every child going through that that stressful situation feels loved and supported. All right, Jeanette. Thank you. Make sure you stick with us. Coming up, we are going to hear about Angel and Christina. We'll be right back after the break.